Hey guys, Subzy Kid here with another tutorial on After Effects, and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to use motion blur effectively and make it look like natural and like so. Well, not really, but it's just like make it like not look ridiculous either, like too blurry or it just like doesn't really do anything. And pretty simple tutorial, self-explanatory. Uh, something just to keep me active. I'm really busy like these days, lots of exams and other projects which I'm doing, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it in three different situations. So you have the normal kill feed so just like normal motion where it's not like too much fast motion so just like the like kills like everywhere just yeah and then you have the cams like kill cams where it's like trick shots and it's like lots of fast spinning motion and also like when it comes to motion graphics or typography um like normal like good motion blur to use so basically when it comes to like normal footage here um I use a plugin for After Effects. Uh, it's called Real Smart Motion Blur, R R S M B, and you can go get that. Yeah, um, and basically you just drag R S M B or R S M B Pro. It doesn't make a difference, but I just like using Pro because it's Pro, and it's got one or two new, f mm, like more advanced features. But I won't really be explaining them because they don't really make too much of a difference. And as as you can see, as soon as you drop it on you can see that there's already some motion blur going on and as you can see it's just like when there's fast motion like over there you can see it's kind of blurring and um, basically in here you don't really need to mess around with anything except the blur amount and the motion sensitivity so with the blur amount if you turn it up to like one it like gets more blurry so the more you turn it up the more blurry it gets so that's kind of stupid like too blurry um, I would personally put it at 1 and then with the motion sensitivity uh, the higher you turn it up the more like so any any type of like if you put it at 100 which is max any movement like any movement would be blurred like 1 so any like because it's so sensitive at 100 anything that moves it will be blurred so I usually prefer like on a kill feed to put it as 50 and basically only the fast motions like the scope going in and sometimes when it turns round like there and then if you it, when you see it turns around there it kind of blurs and basically motion blur it looks you only really need motion blur on the fast parts you don't want it like so every single movement even the slow tiny movements are blurred so personally I would prefer these settings so you could even turn the blur down maybe to like 0 0.7 but yeah that those are the settings I would use and say if you wanted uh, slightly more motion blur like more than usual I would like put it on 0 0.7 and put the sensitivity on 70 because you don't want to put them like both to max it would just look stupid so that that's those are pretty nice things as you can see so there's no really not much point previewing it really because it's self-explanatory of course like you can see it like quite blurry but when you preview it you won't actually see it this blurry because it's happening so fast but it looks really nice it makes the whole thing look a lot smoother more natural and yeah um, when it comes to kill cams so that's basically it for kill feeds but when it comes to kill cams it's slightly different I still use real smart motion blur so we can drag that on but I use slightly different settings and basically we don't want it to be too blurry because it, it like spins a lot and we want the motion sensitivity to be like quite low um, I usually put the motion sensitivity on about 50 as well but I put the blur amount on 0 0.2 so basically as he spins around you can see it's like pretty blurry like there you can see it's blurry but it looks really nice so if I quickly preview this it looks real nice like as you can see it looks quite nice when he's like spinning around and all <laughs> makes it look a lot more smoother so let's see this so as you can see that looks really nice and really smooth but if I turn it off and quickly preview it again so let's quickly see it you can see that it looks a lot better with motion blur because it, make, it makes everything flow and it makes it much more smoother and that's basically it, it's just different settings those are the settings I would put on for um,
kill cams and like trick shots. So um, now it comes to motion graphics and typo uh, typography. So just some simple like that. So let's go preview this. Laggy, laggy, lag. New. That's it. Just something basic. So um, let's just um, in when it comes to typography and motion graphics. Um, Real Smart Motion Blur doesn't look good on text and like just normal motion graphics. Um, I use the standard motion motion blur, which comes in After Effects. So you can see it enables motion motion blur for all layers with the motion blur switch set. And basically, the motion blur s switch is here. So if you go into the timeline here, you can see you have the little column for motion blur, and basically you can just check it on. If you don't have it. Like uh, you can hit F4, so you just like click here and hit F4. Should just bring it up, but I have a big screen, so I just have it like all on. So yeah, you just check, you just check the motion blur on the layers you want it on, and then you hit this button to enable it. And as you can see, you get the motion blur, which looks really nice, like super nice. So if I go to about here, you can see that the motion blur is actually cut, like kicking in, and it looks really nice. If you just turn it off, it just looks like kind of plain. So if I quickly turn the motion blur off and preview it again, so let's see. You can see it looks kind of nice, but let's quickly turn motion blur on, and it looks pretty nice. And let's quickly see. It. See it again. So yeah, motion blur like just the standard motion blur, motion graphics and typography looks really nice, and also it's a slower render time than real smart motion blur if you used it. So that's nice, really. Um, you can't really change any settings. That's all you can do. You can just enable it. So that's basically that. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to um, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Um, also, I'm running out of tutorial ideas. Please send in tutorial requests. Like I really need them to make tutorials, because otherwise I just don't know what to make a tutorial on. Derp. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, just comment below if you have any problems, or tweet me, follow me on Twitter, and all that stuff. So, yeah, see ya.